coming to you from the Macomb Library in my jungle. And I just wanted to do an adult story hour um, because there's a really good kids book that I found in the library and it's called The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. Silverstein. And it's um, it's kind of thought provoking, and I read it, and it and it made me think, especially for a mother, um, a caregiver, or even um, the fathers, definitely. But even if you've never been able to give birth to a child, but you've given your life to other people, this book is. It could be a sentimental thing because even if you're not able to have children on your own, you're giving your life to other people, you're giving your life to children, you're giving your life to elderly, you're giving your life to others, and you give and give and give. And I love this book, so I want you to listen and tell me what you think. Once there was a tree. And she loved a little boy. And every day, the boy would come. And he would gather her leaves. And make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk and swing from her branches. And eat apples. And they would play hide and go seek. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree very much. And the tree was happy. But time went by and the boy grew older. And the tree was often alone. Then one day, the boy came to the tree, and the tree said, Come, boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I am too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy and she said, Come boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife and I want children, and so I need a house. Can you give me a house? <sighs> I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. The tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time, and when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered. Come and play. I'm too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. And after a long time, the boy came back again. I'm sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My tooth are too weak anyway, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I am too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. 
You cannot climb. I'm too tired to climb, said the boy. I am sorry, sighed the tree. I wish I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I'm just an old stump. I'm sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I'm very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down, sit down and rest. And the boy did, and the tree was happy. The end. This is such a good book. We do have it at the library if you want to check it out and look at the pictures as you read. Um, a lot of times when I, you know, it was a hard time. It kept me, I had a hard time reading this book without crying because I do have children and I have grandchildren and they're moving away and they're living their own lives and I give and give and give and give till it feels like I have nothing else to give but there's always a little something more I can give. So when you check this book out and you read it, just think about what you have done for other people. I know we're not supposed to think about ourselves a lot, but sometimes we all do need encouragement and we need help from others and we need strength from others. But when you give and you give and you give and you give and you feel like you can't give anymore, there's still somebody out there that you do have something else you can give. I hope you enjoyed the story, and I hope you'll check the book out and look at it and read it yourself, and maybe you can get through it without crying. <laughs> I hope so, but I can't. Bye. Bye.